14. Minimum Surfaces The Rhombic Dodecahedron in CPS We are familiar now with the rhombic dodecahedron shape. This shape is used as one possible node that can replace the sphere in the CPS arrangement. It provides better visualization for the directions of connections between neighboring nodes. This shape is the preferred node used to assemble platonic structures. This video does not look at the rhombic dodecahedron as the shape of the platonic structures nodes. It rather looks to the rhombic dodecahedron as a pattern formed from multitude of nodes in CPS. The W's and appearance of the rhombic dodecahedron in CPS, provides a possible explanation to fractals, as I will explain in a future video. The rhombic dodecahedron's pattern in CPS is not obvious. When a relatively small number of spheres is used, the shape of this solid is not clearly outlined. There is a sphere clearly defining each vertex, but the edges and faces of the object look fuzzy. Let's not give up. Let's use more spheres, arranged in the same pattern, and see what happens. As we increase the numbers of spheres used, a well-defined rhombic dodecahedron starts to emerge. The edges start to appear clearer. Same with the faces, a new underlining pattern, not seen up to now, can be seen on each face of this beautiful solid. Let's do this one more time, this concludes the evolution of the pattern for this video. Of course, the same process is valid for all the structures presented in these videos, and as a matter of fact, for every structure in CPS. When billions and billions of spheres are used, the solids become the geometrical solids of geometry. We can assemble variation of this solid. These models show only the edges of the solid. The rhombic dodecahedron was discovered by Kepler, while studying the shape of the honeycomb. As we will see in the next videos, this pattern provides a way of explaining the existence of minimum surfaces. These are surfaces we have all seen while playing with the soap bubbles and soap films.